Hello everybody, this is a combat guide for the Isle's new 6.5 update, the Ceratosaurus. This creature is honestly really good, it's got a lot of great matchups, but the main three are, are Strato v Serra, Strato v Kano, and Strato v Tenno. In this short-ish guide, I don't know how long it'll be, um, I'm going to teach you guys how to win pretty much all of these matchups. Each one has a strategy which, if you follow well and execute properly, You'll win pretty much all of your matches. Oh, and, <laughs> and that's Kelly. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. I don't want to do this no more. In terms of stats, the Astrosaurus has 1,300 weight or health. It's got a max sprint speed of 40.2 kilometers, which is 0.1 less than a Tonanto, and it has a bite force of 150. With the charge bite, the bite force will be up, up to 300, and the longer you hold it, the more damage it will do. So, for example, just I, I click tapping it, does slightly less damage than a regular bite. But if you hold it, and then release, it does way more damage than just another bite at, at around 300. Now the alt attacks do around 175. The animation is quite quick and the and the and directional options are pretty good honestly. It, it's, it's a fast attack with a lot of options. In terms of mobility, a uh, Ceratosaurus swim speed is around the same as a Tenno, slightly slower. It, it has 100 seconds of sprint stamina. And, and it will fully recover all of its stamina in 90 seconds. That is without any diets, only basic. So, the Astrosaurus gets a, a corpse, or so uh, whenever it it's near a corpse, it essentially just gets way tanky, it gets a bunch of extra quote unquote armor, but it's basically just health. So I am going to demonstrate, now actually before this, um, the amount you get of uh, armor, it does depend on how large the corpse is. So say there's a Dino body, I'll take a, you'll take a less damage from that, rather than if there's like um, a, um, a Paki body. So I'm gonna demonstrate now. So if I can get it, so so I'm so I've, that does about a 39 damage. So with the buff, a 29 damage is now only. A Ceratosaurus does have a few. Uh, it does have the uh, longest scent range in the entire game. I mean, I can smell corpses from like the other outside of the map, like seriously. Now, it also has a body buff as well. Um, the Ceratosaurus can eat bones and rotten carcasses, and right by my food bar, you'll see there's a greyish outline. Now, that is your um, bacteria that builds up in your mouth every time you eat a corpse. So the way the um, a bacteria bite works is with every bite. So if you do a charge bite, that'll that'll um, administer more, um, I guess, like infection you could say, to like an opponent than say a normal bite or a normal bite. Now once the um, so when you get bit by by a throw with a bacteria. There'll be a red outline on your food, and when that hits the uh, the amount of food that you have, you'll throw up. Now, when you throw up, um, your water, stamina, and food will all like significantly drop, and it's like capped at a certain point. When you start off, I believe it's only like a 75%, but that can go all the way down to 50%. Um, it also means you are recover faster and your stamina, food and water will all drain quicker as well. But the main thing is, when you throw up, uh, you can't attack anything and you can stun lock people just by doing this. But, um, especially out of the charge bite, it takes a while to really, uh, give a, uh, to give a lot of 
Ranch area. For for a strategy v Serato, it's a pretty simple uh, strategy. Now, when and just for the whole guide, if you are ever trying to to fire Serato, the number one rule is never chase one, because that is how you die on pretty much every single time. Now, wh when you find another Serato, chances are when you are eventually chased the opponent will probably ha have on their charge bite. Now, while you're being chased, you want to enable your bite right after th they do theirs. That way, I can turn around and, and then bite them. So, for example, um, I'm my friend here. So, right, so, Yo! Yeah, this is my friend. Okay, so, um, I would like you to chase me and then hold your bite. My friend here, we are going to demonstrate how this works. So, I'm going to run. And then, I'm going to be chased. Alright, do your bite now. So now, do your own bite. And I'll wait. And then, when they do their bite, turn. Boom. So, I was able to turn and then bite him right as his bite ended. So, if you rinse and repeat this, uh, you can win pretty much any matchup, or if you want a more a simplistic, you can do the strategy and then just face tank your opponent. Based off of all of the fights I've done, this works pretty well. So let's do an actual a one v one with with this strategy. So, just like that, that that's how you win on a pretty good amount of health. So, Kano versus Serato. It's a pretty hard matchup. Now, there's a specific strategy which I've been using, which has been working quite well. However, it does count on the Kano trying to charge you at least like once or twice. Now, the way you do win is a relatively simple. So. You have to dodge the Kano charges at least twice to burn all that stamina. With the recent 6.5 nerf to Kano, uh, when it charges, it runs out of its stamina really quickly. So, uh, I'm going to demonstrate now. So, if, if, if you could please attempt to, to charge me. So, when that about here, do that. Now, in case you don't know what, what I'm doing, I am holding either A or D, depending on, for around half a second to a full second. After that, I I still hold them a directional key, and then I and then I hold W. So it makes kind of like a dodge and then a drift. So again. There we go, boom. So this essentially means that even if you don't dodge, you take essentially no damage, and then this allows Kano to burn pretty much all of their stamina. If you do it correctly, you should be on some pretty good health. So, in practice, it should look 
relatively like this. I'm sorry. So for its third matchup, um, Atranto v Serato is a very tough matchup for Serato. I would argue it is much harder than Kano because obviously Serato does not have a lot of health and Toronto can do a lot of damage if it hits with the attacks. Now you want to play this like like are you would a Kano, try to bait any attacks and then punish. Now admittedly this does kind of rely on your a bacterial bite. Because if oh yeah uh, sorry we are on, on an animal, of course. um if you can get the the Atenonto to a puke it's pretty much a, a game set match because at that point the Atenonto will not only have like no stamina but it it'll drain much faster and that means that the Tenno can't kick so I'm gonna demonstrate how you should at least try to do this granted there's no sense stone like a kind of strategy like with the other two. Yeah, just have to kind of free ball it. So there you have it, that is so far what I found out about how you can effectively kill and win a lot of matchups with the Ceratosaurus. Uh, obviously the guide isn't perfect, some of these strategies do rely on the opposing player, but this this just counters like most uh, player styles that I have seen to have so far. Um, all of this was recorded on the admin server scope OG, just because I don't want to do this official because it would be very painful. But um, anyway, if you've enjoyed, um, leave a like, subscribe, and adios. <laughs> I'm recording that. That is hilarious. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. What?